You mix the song, it sounds really good, everything is clear, you can hear everything, but it feels a bit too empty, it feels like something is missing. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to make your mix sound thicker or fuller or like it has more weight, but I should also mention that this trick does not fix a bad mix. You should already know how to mix. The mix should already sound good in the first place and this will take it to the next level. So if you're a beginner who is not very confident about mixing yet, you can still follow along and learn something. It's never a bad idea to learn something new, but you should practice your mixing skills also. Don't rely on a trick to fix a bad mix. And if you want to follow along with this video, you can go to the Telefunken website and download the multi-tracks that I'm going to be using. The song is called Cherry Hill. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And here comes the disclaimer. All audio files have been engineered and recorded by Telefunken Electroacoustic and are presented for educational and demonstrational purposes only. So Telefunken, don't come after me. I'm trying to teach people something here. Thank Thank you. Living in harmony, die in this harmony, never lose this part of me. Now this is really subtle and it's not meant to be heard but felt. So if it's there, you will feel that the mix is full, but if it's not there, it feels a bit empty. But you shouldn't be able to tell, oh, I can hear that. No, it's more like, you know how in movies they do visual effects shots, set extensions? that you shouldn't notice, like they just film the door frame and they build an entire building around it. But you don't know that it's a visual effects shot unless you see that it's a visual effects shot, right? This is kind of the same thing. So in the end of the video, I'm going to give you the entire scene, everything I did on the console, so you can load it on your console and hear the difference before and after, because on YouTube, I'm not sure if it will even come across. So here's the trick. First two effects buses, we don't care. I'm using them for reverb, it doesn't matter. Third effects bus or the last one, whichever one is available. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go to the effects page and I'm going to choose right here the effect called stereo tube stage. This one, this is an overdrive effect. You can also use the guitar amp if you want, but I think this is too much for that effect. It's full on fuzz. We just need a bit of overdrive. Okay, so I'm gonna select this one on bus number 15, and I'm gonna select bus number 15, turn on the flip fader button, and I'm gonna send the vocal channel to that bus and set up the distortion based on the vocal channel. So I'm gonna go up with the drive, maybe 90%, even harmonics all the way, odd harmonics, not all the way. The difference between even harmonics and odd harmonics is that the even ones are sound more pleasant. It sounds more like music. The odd ones sound a bit harsh. I'm also going to give you this effect as a preset so you can use it as is or you can use it as a starting point and tweak it yourself. Never took a chance. Why can't we stay? dance why can't we stay i'll stick around for you try for you cherish you why can't we stay hey living in harmony die in this harmony never lose this part of me living in harmony die in this harmony never lose this part of me living in harmony I'm gonna also send other channels, not the entire mix, some channels. So I'm gonna do another mix that goes into the distortion. Harmony, die in this harmony, never lose this part of me. Living in harmony, die in this harmony, never lose this part of me. If you learned something new so far, hit the like button, I would appreciate that very much, thank you. And in the description box below, you'll find a link to the multi-tracks that I used for this video and also a link to the scene that I made on my console, the entire mix, everything I did on the console, and a preset for the effect that I showed you. So check the description box or the pinned comment to download these and you can load it on your own console and try it on your setup and see how it works for you. Now, if you want to learn another cool trick, 
Click on this video right here and I'll teach you how to do live reverb ducking on the M32 or X32 console. Click right here and I'll see you in the next video.